I think just like in 2003, many of us were in a similar room in another place when we talked about the 2003 rain tax. And I want to make, make sure you draw a point. Well, we opposed the 2003 rain tax because as tax assessor I did, and so did this group. That fund was only $84 million. This fund is anywhere between three to $400 million. So we're talking about a fund that is four times the size of the 2003 rain tax. As a result, um, just at the minimum posted fee of three, of three and a quarter cents per square foot, which only generates about $125 million. Each acre of impervious surface you got, which in, in any use as a means a parking lot, is going to cost you $1,415 a year for starters. Because the opponent, proponents of Prop 1 say this is a lockbox. Well, this is a lockbox without a top because there is no maximum fee. See, we're doing all this wrong, or as Aggies, as an Aggie, I would say bass ag words, okay? Because we should be passing, uh, having public hearings, talking about how much this is going to cost, what the fees are, who's exempt and who isn't exempt, okay, before we take a vote. But the way that this game is being played is we're going to have to take a vote on November 2nd. Now, as a repentant tax assessor, okay, back in the private sector, the holy grail, okay, of taxation was you didn't tax churches because they would have to take the money out of their collection plate to pay it, okay? Now, this is abominable, bad public policy because not only are we taxing churches, we're even taxing schools like HISD, we're taxing all the charities, and oh, by the way, uh, 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 over 65 homeowners, they're not going to get a break like people get a break on property taxes. Okay. So we're talking about a tax that hits the people with the least ability to pay. Hey, that's right. Okay? Because we've got, you know, everybody needs water, okay? And already everybody in this room plays water and sewer rates. But you'll be happy to know that city council's already passed a 40% water and sewer rate increase over the next three years. Mike Sullivan being one of three people that had the guts to vote that no, vote no on that. C.O. Bradford being the others and all repentant, I think. Okay? So we've already spent, we're going to spend a lot more money in the water and sewer system. Okay? And now we're coming back with this huge drainage tax too. And huge, let me explain. The fund is three to four hundred million dollars in size. By the Prop 1 supporters' estimates, okay? The city only takes $846 million of property tax money a year, and this fund is going to be 35 to 47 percent the size of all property tax collections in the city. Now, money does not, it's not like manna from heaven from the Old Testament, okay? No, right. God, God made manna, but he's not making money in the 21st century, okay? And, and, and I'm just, I'm astonished that after this group stood up in 2003 and said, don't tax my collection plate, okay, that in 2010, we're right back in it, okay? Uh, and, and by the way, to talk about HISD, they have the guts to come out and say, I don't want this tax. I don't want, I, because, because the way school funding works is that you can't get that money back, okay? That money comes off their bottom line. They can't tax the public more. They're, you know, they've got all sorts of school finance problems. They're, they're borderline Robin Hood, which means they've got to write a check. And, and they're, by their own estimate, their board voted 8 to 0 and said, we'd have to lay off 77 teachers. Okay? Now, the response from the Prop 1 people was, they attacked HISD and said, why don't they cut waste, fraud, and abuse? This is from the, this group. That is a special interest group that wants to pass this tax. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm just telling you flat, as, as an Aggie Catholic can be, there is no fact or supposition of fact that a tax like this should apply to churches, schools, and charities. Period. Okay? And, and, and until that's dropped, we've got nothing more to talk about. Okay? Uh, and and the problem is, is
is, you know, even as a tax man, I can't even tell you. I think it's minimum $1,450 an acre. It could be a lot higher than that of what everybody's going to pay. So I urge you all to vote no on this tax. We, we've got drainage issues, but there are other sources of fund. The water rate increase is substantial. I think there's about a $44 million overcharge there. We've got money from Metro that the Met, Metro has never transferred to the city, even though it's supposed to be used for roads and, and, and drainage. That's at least $94 million. There's ways to get this program started. But if we say, you know, if we, to quote Edmund Burke, I don't like to do that among a bunch of uh, religious scholars, okay, all right? Uh, you know, uh, if good men do nothing effectively, uh, this tax is going to pass. So, uh, but I'll, I will quote even, I'll go before the uh, New Testament, I'll quote Cicero. In 65 BC, Cicero said something just uniquely pronounced because it was in the last days of the Roman Republic. And we all know what the readings are like uh, uh, in the New Testament. And he said, the Republic will fail when the public learns to vote themselves a share of the Treasury. Now, everybody is hurting in a recession. I know these civil engineering firms are hurting. Okay? They've laid people off. But I don't want a tax on everybody else at a biblical level. That's what this is. And uh, and because and and it's and they and they want the money so much they're willing to tax churches, schools, and charities to do it. Okay? So uh, you know, I'm, I'm praying for a positive vote on this, which is a no vote on November the 2nd. But I'm also praying for the understanding that in the 21st century, you know, as a, as a tax man, you're supposed to render under, to Caesar what is Caesar's, render to God's what is God's. And this Prop 1 blurs that line because no one that has a church is supposed to pay a property tax, and the state legislature has made that really clear. And why we're going to let a drainage fee, which is really a big tax, apply to churches is just an abomination to me for public policy. So, you know, all I can say is, brothers and sisters, please vote against Prop 1. God bless you. Thank you.